and I almost sent my MSD box back for service. Let me show you everything I did and what the problem ended up being. When you're troubleshooting electrical components, the first thing you need to do is make sure your battery is up to charge. Because this is this car had been sitting, I did replace the battery and I did crank on it a little bit to find that I had a crank no start. So I made sure that I put it on my little charger to make sure the battery was up to speed. So when you're troubleshooting MSD boxes, the next thing you're going to do is verify that your power and ground are squared up. These are my two big power and ground junction blocks because I've got the battery relocated to the back for weight. It used to sit right there, but you know, Race car stuff, it's back there. So I did that. The next thing you wanna verify is your keyed power source. Now I'm using the original uh, HEI power, you know, keyed source. The next step on my list was I took the MSD box, which is mounted to the kick panel right here. I took that away and probed the uh, keyed source at the box to make sure that I had a good keyed source down here, which I did. Now, the next thing that you can do is a very interesting MSD troubleshooting trick. Let me show you. Now, if you've been around MSDs a little while, you're familiar with this black connection. This goes into the distributor for the magnetic pickup, and this goes to the box, which sends the ignition signal to the coil. So the next thing you can do is you can disconnect this wire, and you can then jumper those two terminals to essentially create a spark signal and spark a wire off of the coil wire. So let me do that and I'll show you what that does. Now, before I show you how to jump that, it is worth noting that the coil is not necessarily an uncommon failure point. I did swap off my Petronix flamethrower coil for another coil from the 64 Buick way over there. It's just an MSD Blaster 3 coil. I did swap the coil. And before I go any further, I did not have spark when I performed this test the first time, but I also forgot to turn the key on to do it. So I'm doing it again, and I have spark. Let me show you what that looks like. So jumpering these two wires, that signal wire, you can throw the spark across the spark plug, because you're essentially doing the same thing the mag pickup is doing, giving it a signal here. So coming back to this a second time, I did prove that I had spark, but I still had a no start situation. The next thing I found is anyone that common to MSD, you've seen this problem before. Really easy. That little black connector down there, I had one of the pins get pushed out so it wasn't making contact like it needed to. Once I saw that, I pushed the pins and the connector back together and it started. So with that connector pushed back together, I was able to hit the key and have a listen. So that's the dirty little secret of the MSDs. When you're troubleshooting them, that's always a part for me that gets overlooked, is making sure that little black connector has all of the pins pushed in correctly. So anyways, guys, that's what it took to get this thing brought back to life. And now I don't even have to send it back to MSD for repair. I'm happy, less money, and we're able to get going faster. So there's some links in the description to some of the parts that I like to use for uh, diagnostic with electrical parts. Check that out. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.